You are watching official VGO videos. Asafin Network Partner. Gaming videos for www.videogamersoasis.com. Following my gameplay uh, vlog, you would have noticed that uh, we're on. We're on. Uh, I believe we're. I think we're. We finished through um, day. Day three. We're on to day four. Oh, let's continue where we left off. We're on day three now. So let's continue our adventure. Trapped in a haunted house with our hero Trilby, and he's trying to find the mystery of why there they've been why are there people dying in this house? Already there was someone m murdered here. Nothing here. Nothing new here. No, there's nothing here that I want. Let's check with see what's on television. This morning, in other news, Michael Cheesem, solicitor of the Defoe Estates, was found dead this morning in his office. Ooh, Mr. Cheesem was found to have hanged himself, and a ruling of suicide has already been declared. His, <coughs> this is the lightest of a recent string of deaths and disappearances connected to the mysterious Defoe Manor. <coughs> a string which began with the murderous suicide of Sir Charles Clarence Defoe and his young wife, and has seen more recently the disappearance of BBC reporter Simone Taylor. Police were hoping to acquire the key to Defoe Manor in order to investigate, but the location of the key was known only to by Mr. Cheese and himself. Numerous television stars have already come forward to pay tribute to Miss Taylor as it becomes increasingly apparent that disappeared. Something tells me there wouldn't be even that much coverage if there wasn't celebrity involved. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Let's move on. Let's save. Save our progress. Okay. So, what's happening outside? Maybe the young teenager is reading his Treasure Island book. Look, papers, I don't see anything important. Philip, Philip Hardy, a rather wild eyed young man in a leather jacket and khakis. Let's talk to them. Hello, Philip. Leave me alone, cat burglar. What are you doing? None of your business? Are those maps of the house? <sighs> yes, they're maps. I'm going to find a way out, then I'm going to get away from this madhouse once and for all. After that, I'm, if I ever see your smug pint strap wearing face again, I'll be a million years too soon. Come on, Philip, none of us could possibly have killed AJ. You want to bet? You're over six foot? You could have done it easily. Maybe I could have, but I didn't. Prove it. You know I can't. Well then. Have you seen the others? No. All I know is that they're not here bothering me. 
why don't you do why don't you join them feeling any better this morning no I'm just peaches now go away you know with that attitude you could be the death of us it's certainly going to be the death of you if you don't get out of my face I'll catch you later huh. hello Philip leave me alone cat burger have you hello Philip leave me alone cat burger have you seen the others no. All I know is that they're not here bothering me. Why don't, why don't you join them? I'll catch you later. I need to touch that. Okay. Let's do some investigating. Let's go outside. Fridge. No. What's this? I just found it just here, like this. Hmm. Do you know who it is? Yeah, it's mine. Did you bring it here last night or something? Of course not. It was in the front yard, and there's no way in, into the front yard. Maybe someone's trying to help us. Maybe. I'll go and find the others and let them know about it. Sure. Let's investigate the car. It's definitely my car. How it got to be here is something I certainly can't explain. Great. My lockpicks are here. They must have fallen out of my pocket while I was getting out of the car. I'll hide an emergency pick in the lining of my tie, like I usually do. Excellent. Save progress. Car, red car. Okay, what's in here? shed. Let's see if we can open this door. Locked. Let's get a lock pick. You can pick any locks under five minutes with these beauties. Use lock pick on door. No, I don't want to use it on myself. I want to use it on the door. There we go. Let's open the door. What's this? A tool. Pickaxe. It's a pickaxe that God only knows what it's doing here. Pick up the pickaxe. One of those two man wood saws. Let's pick it up. <laughs> Excuse me. Sneezing a bit. Workbench. Can't think of what to do with it. Cabinet. Cupboard. need to save this as tool shed okay let's continue on anything further here
cool. Oh, there's that is Simone. That's let's talk to Simone. Simone, oh Trilby, how's the ghost hunting going? Room, the window. Open the door. Okay. Go to the library. Let's talk to Jim. Jim, yes. Do you want to tag along with me? Sure. Promise not to get in the way. Jim? Yes? Have you seen Philip and Simone? Mr. Hardy's in the dining hall, shouting at everyone who comes in. Miss Taylor said that she was investigating AJ. Thanks. Never mind. Okay. So, let's save our progress. And exit this door. And down this way. Store. We're going to push the tree makes the upper branches sway a little. What fun. Let's use this use saw on tree. Jim, give me a hand with this. Timber! Why do we cut the tree down, Mr. Trilby? I'm not exactly sure, but I know it makes me feel better. Let's save progress. back into the red bedroom. Let's get back in here. Up the stairs. And we're going to go through the red bedroom. What are you doing, Mr. Trilby? Just popping out for some fresh air. Why don't you wait for me in the library? Oh, okay. There we go. Now we can do some business here. Use Grawly on this swing. Batman or uh, Rorschach from The Watchmen. Excellent. Save progress. Roof. Place. Roof. And the window must lead to the other locked room in the floor. Let's get in here. Here we go. This is the kid's bedroom. It's an, a 
identical wardrobe to the one in the other bedroom. Open it up. Anything there? It's, for all intents and purposes, empty. In the floor. Let's get in here. Here we go. This is the kid's bedroom. It's an identical wardrobe to the one in the other bedroom. Put it up. Anything there? It's for all intents and purposes empty. Easel, an artist easel with a blank canvas. How philosophical. I don't paint. Teddy, it's a very old Victorian era stuffed bear. Bed, a single bed. Maybe the room has been left as a spare or something. The teddy. Not the teddy, not the bed. And why the hell not? Look at Teddy. Very old Victorian era stuffed bear. Okay, let's save progress. Save it as save our progress as child's bedroom. nightstand. There's nothing in here but this old diary. Let's see what the diary says. Let's get this out. Read the diary. Look at Red Diary. It's a diary of Matthew Defoe. June 28th, 1814. Today is my 8th birthday. Nanny said I would soon be a big, strong man like my father. I wanted to see him today, but he wouldn't come out of his study all day. Nanny says he always gets cross on this day. But it's not because of me. August 15th, 1817. I found a new friend. He is behind the door in the kitchen, and he doesn't have a name. He likes me. Likes to me to sit and talk to him, but father gets very angry when he finds me doing this. I asked father who the boy behind the door was, but he told me there was no boy behind the door, and it was just a silly fantasy. May 24th, 1820. I showed father the painting I just finished. He said it was quite good, which is the best thing he has ever said. While he was in a good, in a good mood, I asked if I could go back Go and look behind the door in the kitchen. He pretended not to hear me. June 28, 1821. My father has done a terrible thing. All this time he pretended there was no boy behind the door. And now this. There is blood all over the kitchen floor. I will do what I can. Then we can be a family together and be happy. That's where it ends, except for a little ink blot just underneath the text. I think I've read enough to have some idea of what's going on here. If there is a ghost in this place, there must be some connection to the disappearance of Sir Roderick and Matthew Defoe. Was Matthew schizophrenic or something? Did Sir Roderick kill him and disappear to avoid the law? It's odd that neither of their bodies were never found. If I could ever find Matthew's body, perhaps I could get to the bottom of this. 
Maybe there's a book or something in the library that could help me. Okay, let's see. Tag along with me? Sure. I promise not to get in the way. Okay, let's talk to Jim. Yes. What do you think we should do next? I think we should be doing as much research on the house as we can. Have you seen Philip and Simone? Mr. Hardy's in the dining hall, shouting at everyone who comes in. Miss Taylor said he, she was investigating AJ. Thanks. Never mind. Okay. Use red journal. Jim. So it certainly do with a laugh. What's this? What's in this book? Book. Look. Book. It's a book on white magic. Finding a person or finding a person from their possession. Tie the possession in question to a stick and dip it in salt. Finding a person with a position. Okay. Next, wave it over the place where the subject sleeps. When you hold it in front of you, the object should now indicate in which direction the owner lies. Weird. Let's wave that again. Tie the possession in question to a stick and dip it. Salt. perhaps, but never mind. Okay. Got the hang, hang the teddy bear. Use teddy bear. Oh, I don't like that sound. Stick. Bear and stick. Okay, now we're getting some Bedroom of the child. No, oh, it's the other one. Use Baron Stick. No, I didn't mean to do that. Use 
here and stick on bed. That doesn't work. What's the book say again? Oh, dip it in salt. I forgot about that. Use bear and stick on the salt. Look at the bear and stick. Salty bear. Either it's not working properly or it's either pointing straight downwards. Save progress. Salty titty on stick. Place. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's totally do this. And do some ghost busting. Okay, let's go upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Let's go back to the bathroom. Haven't gone there for a while. Let's go over here first. What's in here? That doesn't work. What's here? Scratches? Salty teddy bear. Nope, nothing in here. What does the book say? Oh, it seems to be indicating downwards. The path is very clean and white, probably recently. Onto something. Stairs, Jim. I can investigate this further.
Why won't you go down the stairs? That's one major complaint about this game or game is the stairs. You can't climb the stairs. Indicating to my left. Okay. bear my right. Look at Salty Bear.
salty pear again. Straight downwards. Use pickaxe. the teddy bear straight downwards let's talk to this guy hey little Philip leave me alone cat burglar have you seen the others no all I know is that they're not here bothering me. Why don't you go and join them? I'll catch you later. use fridge wall there it is according to the map there should be a stairwell right behind the wall I guess someone bricked over it dun 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 used teddy bear on stick Stand back, Jim. Here we go. What's in there? Let's talk to Jim. Jim? Yes? What do you think we should do next? I think we should be doing as much research into the house as we can. Never mind. Save progress.
see this as secret entrance in kitchen. Here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. Investigate further. Ooh, it's this place. Spooky. Er. Sorry, Mr. Philly, but I don't like this Philly of this place. I will go wait for you in the library. Save progress. James. Are these manacles? What the hell was this room used for? Talk to, talk to 
Jim. Jim. Yes. What do you think we should do now? Next. I think we should be doing as much research in the house as we can. Have you seen Philip and Simone? Yes, okay, I got that part. Do you want, do you want to tag along with me? Sure, I was not to get in the way. Let's go downstairs. Let's talk to Simone. Or we could even see if we can pick that lock. Progress as red car. All right, gamers, I'm gonna take a little quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found a way to continue the mission. Continue on the adventure. I'm gonna go back down. Look at the teddy bear. Southeast. Southeast. Thank you. 
straight down. Area. This seems to be the area of the ground the Matthew DeVoe detector was pointing at. All right. Now let's go talk to Simone or Trill. One of the people, one of the guys. Philip. Hey, Philip. Leave me alone, Cap Armor. Got you later. Let's check out some.
mysterious AJ, we hardly knew ye. That was not a good time to disturb the dead. Let's talk to Simone again. Simone! Oh, Mr. Shelby, how's the ghost hunting going? See you later. All right. Missing something. Not sure what it is. So I'll be right back. Okay, gamers, I figured it out. It's all up to me, up to Trilby. Can't depend on his friends to help him. Gotta do this himself. Go upstairs. To the south. And look at Teddy Bear. Southeast. side of the house. Leave me alone, Capitler. Well, catch you later. Have you seen the others? No. I only know that it's not here bothering me. Catch you later. I, I, I doubt that he would be acting like that. Why would he say catch you later when there's a smash and then that startled the other guy?
Oh, there it is. Look. Idol. The bell jar has been knocked over and smashed. Looks like the idol is undamaged. Use the idol. This really is horrendously ugly little wooden doll. Hang on, what are these little stains? Day four. Here we go again. What the hell? Father, why? Oh god, my head. What what the hell happened last night? I remember. Oh god, Philip. Did I kill Philip? I don't remember anything. Last night I remember is putting my hand on that idol. I got to warn the others. Bum bum bum. Look how much items I have now. I'm gonna save my progress as. Day four. Okay. Gamers, I'm going to take a little break and I hope you will tune in when I continue the exciting saga of Five Days a Stranger. Thanks for liking this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments, and thanks for sharing it with, uh, on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, all those social media websites that you use on a daily basis, and subscribing to official video videos. If you subscribe, you get free YouTube channel shoutouts for life. Make sure to ask for it, and uh, stay tuned for more great gaming videos. I'm the Geek, signing out, till later. Thanks for watching.